Find the lengths of the sides of the triangle PQR. Is it a right triangle and is it also an isosceles triangle? Uh, first, we want to find the lengths of all the sides of the triangles. So we got P and Q, P and R, and Q and R. And these equal the square root of the x minus the x, so 3 minus 7, minus 7, that's squared, plus minus the y's, negative 2 minus 0 squared, and then it's um, plus the z's, negative 3 minus 1. And that equals the square root of 3 minus 7, negative 4, squared, plus negative 2 minus 0, negative 2, squared, plus negative 3 minus 1, negative 4, squared, which equals... 16 plus 4 plus 16 equals 32, 34, 36. And it's also square rooted. So that equals 6. Uh, P and R. Again, 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 squared plus negative 2 minus 2 squared plus negative 3 minus 1 so you got 2 squared plus negative 4 squared plus negative 4 squared 4 plus 16 plus 16 and it's going to be the same thing as P and Q and then for Q and R uh, let's get a different color take 7 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus 2 1 minus 1 so you got 6 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 0 squared That's going to give us 6 squared, which is 36, plus 4, plus 0. And let's square root in 40, a square root of 40. Okay, so that's the lengths of our three sides of the triangle. And you can tell it's an isosceles because... PQ and PR are the same length. Since the length of P and Q equals the length of P and R, and that equals 6. And to determine if it's a right triangle, a different color again. Uh, the length of P and Q and P and R squared. So 6 squared. Let's say right question mark equals 6 squared plus uh, also 6 squared. And does that equal? 
the square root of 40 and it doesn't. 36 plus 36 does not equal the square root of 40.